Yeah, I don't have an office. I have a cube. Wow. Rick, right, you should what, come hang out and see it. What are you reading? <laughs> Lynx Magazine. Hey, you, you're the guest. You shut up right now. I need to introduce you. You're not allowed to make negative comments to me. <laughs> Sorry, Elizabeth. Okay, so this, this is, um, I, I guess, Jason, could we call this a special occasion? Sure. Yeah, like this is, oh, you got a kid on your shoulder, or is that a parent? I do, no. I do. Can we, can we get off? <laughs> so normally we have guests on Fridays for the Friday Foursome, and Jason and Les join me, and we have a guest, Elizabeth, who is in the room, is a former guest of the Friday Foursome. But this week we've, we've switched some things around, and the guest is Les. There's a reason. We're going to get to that in a few minutes. We're going to talk about him and what he does, and I may ask him to play his banjo, somebody in the community said that he needed to pull out his banjo and play that. And we're, We might have a, you know, a live, entertaining 30 minutes here today, but we are back for another episode of the Friday Foursome. This episode, as always, is presented by the Back Nine Network, and they had some news yesterday. I, I need to do a little more digging than that, but they posted um, some news yesterday in the community, and they're, they're just growing like crazy, but... But um, to your point, Jason, yes, I'm in a cubicle. Thank you for noticing. Where where are you sitting? I have I, I have a nice enclosed office here with no windows. No, see, I don't have windows either. I guess I don't really. I can't talk. But it's 110 degrees outside right now, so you can't talk. I have a couch though. And kids. And okay. kids, yeah. Last day of school, so. Oh, so they had to come over. Hashtag and hang out. daddy things. <laughs> hashtag. Yeah, yeah. I didn't have a hashtag for that because I don't have. I'm not a daddy. Hashtag no kids. Hashtag date, double income, no kids. Elizabeth is with us. Hey, Elizabeth, how are you? Welcome. I'm good, Ricky. Thank you. Thanks and, for letting me join. Oh, I, I, when we get to the guest of honor here, I, I feel like it's. I'm just going to sit back and let you guys talk because it's going to be it's going to be a lot of fun. And Jason from Shop Junior Golf and his kids. Who are your kids? Introduce them. Make so them let's see here. So the big one is Jaron, and the little one is Jace, and Jace is the little golf star. Nice. All right. Very cool. And should we have a drum roll? That's not a very good drum roll. I don't know. I'm not good at drums. Les <laughs> Bailey from Pro Golf now is this is just this is going to be fun. So Les, welcome to the Friday Foursome <laughs> in a different sense. Well, thank you, Ricky. <laughs> Tell us who you are, what you do, and and uh, yeah, I mean, we all know, but just in case the audience doesn't know. <laughs> Just in case you don't know, by the way, I just played in a I just played in a memorial tournament this morning at uh, Lonesome Pine Country Club. I tried to run into uh, uh, the good old boys golf guy, but uh, he was on the driving range, which is 500 feet down the mountain from where the first tee was at. So I, I didn't quite hook up with him. <laughs> you live 10 minutes from this guy. Find him. I need I a my selfie shirt with the two of you. Yeah, I, I haven't got my, my shirt yet. Chad, good old boys. Yeah, where's my shirt? Thank you, guys. Did Les get anything? Did he send you anything? Uh, I didn't get anything yet. Oh, I, I think either. we're waiting to... Chad, hashtag it. try harder. <laughs> hashtag try harder, huh? Yes. So, Les, Pro Golf Now, what is it? And that, tell us more about that and what you do with it and how much you write and all that stuff. Well, uh, Pro Golf Now is a division of the fan-sided sports network, which, by the way, has gotten into movies... Uh, you know all that kind of stuff. I'm not sure what Life all they style. do now, but yeah. but there's uh there's 240 sports sites that that actually actually cover sports of all kind. And Elizabeth and I uh, we're on the the golf team. <laughs> nice. How many writers uh, are on the golf team? Right now there's four and sometimes five, but okay. uh. The people that do the most writing is Elizabeth and myself. <laughs> well, you also write part time and very part time for Discount Tea Times, and Elizabeth also writes for Discount Tea Times. Who doesn't write part time? She writes more than the editor can even keep up with that. So I think that both of you guys probably are just pumping out a ton of content. So Elizabeth, the the content you are writing for Discount Tea Times is very appreciated. Just so you know. Thank you very much, Ricky. So I'm going to let Jason kick things off. I've already asked one question. That's not one of my questions, but it is a question. So, Jason, is this weird having Les on the other side of the table here? <laughs> it is weird. Like, I feel like I have to be nice to him because he's on the other side no, of the table. No, you don't. No, you don't. I don't nice come in nearly yeah. as much as we did last week. So, um, yeah, I felt bad for about, well, no, I didn't do it. 
<laughs> and, and so, so Les, what other sports do you write for? I know the fan site does uh, just about every sport that is out there. Do you write just for golf, or do you write for other sports as well? Well, uh, I, I actually started with fan side writing NASCAR stuff. Uh, that was my my big thing for a while. Uh, and then I seen that the uh, the Pro Golf Now site had sit kind of idle for almost a year, and I just got a login and started writing golf articles, and pretty soon I was the editor. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the guys. Uh, uh. One of the directors sent me an email and says, do you want to be the editor of this site? And I said, sure, why not? <laughs> so here I am. I, I've written for Rigo's Rag, which is a Washington Redskins site. Uh, I've done a couple articles for the guy in Kansas City, which is uh, called the KC Kingdom, which covers everything in the Kansas City area and, and Kansas. If they do a NASCAR or a golf if there's something going on in that area that has to do with golf or NASCAR, they usually get me to write something for them. And I'm also writing for a site called the Old North Banner. I just started doing that here recently. Uh, it's in North Carolina. And How anything... do you keep them all straight? My God. Well, it's kind of like all the places he's lived. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. yeah. But, but I write, uh, I'm allowed to write anything that has to do with North Carolina, which, by the way, this next week, uh, the U.S. Open is going to be there, so that's going to kind of... Oh, is that golf? I don't know. <laughs> I so Ricky can check that <laughs> But if the, you know, if the Tar Heels do something, or, or Appalachia State does something, or, you know, anything in North Carolina, I can, I can write about. The Braves, the Atlanta Braves are big in, in, in that area. They have a double-A team in, in Charlotte. They have, you know... So I can write on that if I want. So I'm not going to change the subject too much, but I have it in my hands. Just today, I got, have you guys seen this? The Grenade driver from Bontech Golf. Oh. I've actually seen the reviews on it, yeah. Yeah, are the reviews good? Because, well, I'm going to review it this weekend. Well, I is will... That make it, uh, is that going to make it... It's pretty sweet. I love the finish on the top. I love the way it looks. Out. Yeah. It's 10.5, though. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hit a 10.5. I don't know. I'll have to close my stance. Anyway, not to change the subject. Elizabeth, since you're a writer, I'm sure you've got a... Well, I don't know if you have a question about writing or what you have a question <laughs> for, but... I, I, want, I, I do. I have a question for Les. Les, I want you to, to talk a little bit about what you think makes a good sports writer. And the reason I want you to talk about it is because of the way you and I connected. I mean... Yeah. You just kind of were trolling the net, I think. <laughs> stalking. And, yeah. Hashtag net stalking. <laughs> that's, that's, that's part of the deal of being an editor is, is finding people to write for your site. Uh, that's, that's part of the job. Uh, unfortunately, it's a little harder to get people to write about golf than it is to write about you know, the, the Dallas Cowboys or something of that nature. Uh, it's, it's always easier to find people to write basketball and football and baseball and that kind of stuff. But how do you find them? How do you find your golf riders? Well, uh, Fansided actually has some canned uh, posts that you can that they put up occasionally. Uh, we have a gentleman by the name of Mike Castillo, who's the personnel director for Fansided, and uh, I haven't had much luck of finding people other than yourself and 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 a couple other people that didn't last too long. Uh, so what makes what makes a writer last then? How does a writer stick on? Well, uh, at fan sided, you can write as, you can just about do anything you want as long as you write. Uh, to be a contributor at fan sided, you have to write four articles a month or one a week, and to be a uh, staff writer, you have to write four a week or sixteen a month. How many are you writing a week? Well. As the last month, I haven't. I've been probably averaging about fifty. Jeez, uh, a week? No, a month. Oh, I was a like, month, my God, you were writing more than I could read. Uh, during <laughs> during a lot of coffee. On 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 the ramp I up to admit the. That, <laughs> on, I just wouldn't admit that. <laughs> on the ramp up to the to the masters, I think I wrote. Uh, I think our site turned in 90, 94 blogs for the month, and uh, and Elizabeth and I did uh, 
the lion's share of them. <laughs> so when you're when you're sitting down to create content, this is a two part question. The content is coming from either you or is someone else providing you with those topics. And when you don't have a topic to write on, how do you find something to come? Like, where does your inspiration come for a new blog post? Well, uh, I. I don't like to read a lot of other people's stuff before I write something about a subject because I don't want to plagiarize it because sometimes if you if you read too many things but I will I'll, I'll spend a lot of time on pro, on, on uh, the PGA tour dot com uh, golf dot com uh, the European tour dot com all that stuff is fair game for you to use quotes uh, content you know Anything like that is 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 easy easy to use. Let me know if you ever need a quote from me. I've got a lot of them. <laughs> well, the, you know, we're we're more interested in what Tim Fincham has to say, or or you know maybe Bubba, or you know, yeah, <laughs> or Phil, right. or <laughs> Tiger. Okay. You know, I'm I'm available. If you need me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so so thanks for stealing one of my questions. Since Les is on this side of the screen, does that mean you have to steal one of my my questions for the week then? Is, is that how that works with the how many blog posts do you write? Uh, I didn't ask that. I, I, I didn't ask that. Ricky did. Sorry, I'll shut up. That was Jason. my point. That was my point. Ricky's always stealing one of your questions. So. <laughs> He's always stealing some of our questions. That's, I know, that's why I know. So, so Les, I, that's I, why. Know, I know you and Connie Black go back and forth on uh, your choice of beverages. I've got to ask, what's your, uh, what's your big beer right now that you're drinking? And if you say Bud Light, Bud Light this interview guy. is over. You did say Bud Light. I, I am a Bud Light guy from the get-go, man. I, he said uh, beer, not water. Not <laughs> flavored water. See, I've, I've structured all my questions today that it will infuriate Ricky. Because working. That's that Hashtag working. <laughs> you want to hear my next one just for fun? No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> Elizabeth, please, please rectify the situation. I don't know if I can get into this. Les, what'd you shoot today? <laughs> uh, I played in a scramble, and we shot sixty-one. Oh, wow. sixty-one! No big deal. I shot <laughs> that's that's not a big deal. Yeah. Okay. But that, that's great. But that was what? you know you know that was a scramble. What uh, one? In fact, in fact. Uh, the ladies closest to the tee was the sixth hole, and keep in mind I never played this golf course before. Uh, I was six inches from going in, from having a hole in one. No oh way. My. Yeah, I, I mean I was I was six inches. I was, <laughs> you know, I, and I couldn't write it down because I'm not a woman, you know, because it was the ladies <laughs> closest to the pin. I, I, I almost <laughs> hope you missed the putt. Just a little bit of me hopes that you missed the putt. Uh, I, di I didn't even have to putt it. Somebody else putted it. It, it was a scramble. <laughs> no, okay. Elizabeth, yeah. another one from you, because I don't want to go back to Jason for a few minutes. You, you want me to keep going? Yeah, keep you going. You don't like Jason's well, beer question? Right now, right now Jason, <laughs> my friend. Les, who's going to win the Open? Where are you well, I, money? I, I picked Henrik Stenson a long time ago, and I'm not going to get off that horse yet. I, th I still think he's got a major in him. I'm just... And I was convinced at the end of last year that the U.S. Open would be the one he he would win this year. So I'm going to stick with him. Whether you know he's not playing that great right now, but but I'm going to stick with him. What about the women's? Ooh, good question. <laughs> Same course, too, yeah. Well, you know, last year before you came on board, I used to have to cover the LPGA, but this year I'm. I'm <laughs> oh, can... you're going to bank off this? Come on, I knew you know what's going on in the LPGA. Uh, I I. I like the way Stacy Lewis is playing right now. She's she's hot. She's. Uh, no, wait a minute. And I'm Rephrase not, that. And I'm, Make sure clarify that for the children watching. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not a big Stacy Lewis fan, hot. but but there but you she, go. Because there are, there no. are other women on tour that are also hot. Like who? Uh, Natalie Gubas. Uh, <laughs> God. Lucky Thompson. God. Oh my God. <laughs> and if Michelle Wee didn't putt like this, she might. She might be cute. Wee, Wee like is putting very well right now. Are you sure you don't want to take Wee over Lewis? Les? She's been playing really well. Yeah, she. Uh, you know, in those big tournaments like that, Michelle Wee has not done anything. Uh, if I was going to take somebody else, I might even take Envy. Envy Park on that. Because she does come up big and she can put, you know. Yeah, she That's can. never a bad pick. 
It's never so, a bad pick. So when you sit down to write a blog post, and let's say you have the topic, so for sake of argument, we'll talk about how great Tiger is. So you sit down to write a blog post about how great Tiger is. What's the process like? I love you, Bob. <laughs> what's, what's your you want, me to write, pro- you want me to write the post on how great Tiger is? No, Ricky, I don't. I'll write that post. <laughs> What's we, your writing we, uh, process like from the beginning through a finished blog post? Do you write it and then edit it? Do you work on a well, piece of the piece? The, 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 the website has to have content. And sometimes uh, I'll just take a quote or a tweet or something, write a couple of hundred words about it, and pass it on. That's, that's, that's not really writing. That's more or less stuff in the Internet with content. You know, it, it counts as a blog post. It works, though. Yeah, it does. But when I want to write an editorial type blog, mm-hmm. then that that requires more thought. You know, more. Okay. Uh, I don't work from an outline like a lot of people do. I just kind of sit down and yeah, start writing. Too. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so I'm, I was going to ask another question, but I'm going to let you ask your next question before I no, steal I'll, your ask, I'll ask another question. This one's not aimed directly at Ricky through less. How how many? What's your typical blog post size? You know, you had said something about you know a couple hundred words. Is there a typical size that, that you work to, or, or that you're well uh, to be a, writers to work to? To be a legal blog, it has to be 200 words, uh, and if it's less than 200, it's called a micro blog. Yes. Hashtag the more you know. But but uh, I try to keep my post right around 500 or less. Uh, okay. I think 700 words. You know, you know fan side don't like you to write something over 700 words. Their their philosophy is if you got 700 words, you could have wrote two blogs. So sure. uh, who do you report to then? Like what's like you're the editor. Who's who do you report to? Right now, uh, it, it's kind of. A gray area, but I, I report to a guy named Chris Hedrick, who is the uh, the director of what's called the Extras Division. Extras being golf, NASCAR, uh, what's called local sites, like like the Old North Banner is a local site. It covers just North Carolina sports. Uh, yeah. That's who I report to. It, it, that, that's been changing about every six weeks. Do you guys cover X Games? <laughs> X Games is a hot topic in our area right now because it's in Austin, which is about three hours from me. Yeah, they cover. Uh, there is a division that covers uh, what's going on in the movies and in television, and there's a division that covers uh, the high tech industry. Ah. You know, Xbox, uh, all your gaming needs you okay. know, about games and high tech stuff, gotcha. and a lot of sports. Uh, yeah, a lot of sports. The, the the one division that's actually taken off pretty good right now is the uh, soccer division, especially with the World Cup coming up. Right. You know, so you know everybody. Soccer's getting hot in the U.S. It's it's taken quite a few years to get soccer where it's at, but. So, what are your personal thoughts on foot golf now that soccer is is becoming popular <laughs> and mentioned with golf? Foot golf, or or are you talking about foot wedges? Foot golf. Well, both. Two-part question: Foot golf and foot wedges. <laughs> uh, I think if the course is right uh, for the, are you talking about the big holes for the golf for the 15-inch yeah, like, holes? Yeah, and they kick a kick a soccer ball. Yeah, uh, if the situation is right for it, yeah, it, I, I certainly don't want to see any scores posted or handicaps posted based on foot the golf. big hole. You know, <laughs> you know. I will say, a couple of weeks ago, I was up at True North, and they had 8-inch cup on the practice screen. I was chipping in, like, trying to chip into it, but 8 inches is, I mean, it's big, but it's challenging, and I don't know, it's it's an interesting technique. So now, foot wedge, I know you, I'm sure you use that. I've used a foot wedge or two, my <laughs> day. <laughs> That's funny. Elizabeth, you use the foot wedge? I've never used the foot witch. Oh, yeah. No, absolutely sure. not. I'll just, I'll just yeah. pick them all up and toss them where I want to go. If I, I kick have, it, I'm going to lose but, direction. You know, I have, a special, I have a special rule for golfing with uh, younger people. It's called, uh, a special shot called the hand wedge that I can <laughs> use uh, under certain conditions. That's funny. <laughs> So, you, so you pick it up and throw it. <laughs> well, that is sort of what you do, but you, it, there are limits. <laughs> 
Now, does that count as a club? Does the hand count it does, as a club? It does. It does. Under these special local rules when we play family golf, I, can't, I claim the hand wedge option. <laughs> hey, hey, we used I'll to have... remember that for when I go play Ricky. I'm already cheating since I use a belly putter, so why not yeah. use a hand? <laughs> well, you're not coming to see me for the oven 14, so I don't even know why I'm still mad about that. I don't well, we care used about to... you getting divorced or not. We used to play some rules uh, down in Texas there if you could reach in and, and get it out of the pond. It didn't count. I can you know, see that. That's a good rule. That is a good rule. <laughs> I, yeah, tried I, that, like <laughs> I tried that down in Florida, but, but you know, there's a lot of gators in the pond. <laughs> right. yeah, they want to be yeah, reaching. It would work. <laughs> Speaking you of gators, I hand. watched Happy Gilmore last night, and there is a gator. In there. Nice. nice. All right, well, well, here's, here's my doozy question for Ricky. Um, is Tiger going to break Jack's record? <clears throat> I didn't hear that. Sorry, Les. Go ahead. I didn't hear that question. <laughs> I don't think so. Why? <laughs> why? Tell me why? Well, let's let's see if number one he comes back healthy. Is he playing in the U.S. Open? Oh no! No! no. 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 Oh. <laughs> okay, so let's let's assume that he does come back healthy. You have to assume that because he's taking so much time off. Well, okay, here's my theory. Here's my theory with Tiger. If Tiger would would get off the swing he's trying to perform, and maybe even go back to Butch Harmon, which 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 Butch Harmon gave him a swing that that would work for him without putting so much pressure on his body. In fact, in fact, if you had read one of my blogs last week, I had posted a video. I with, saw the video with with Tom Watson's swing. I mean, here's Tom Watson, the 64 years old, can still bang the ball almost 300 yards, and he's never injured. Why? Why? Why does? So then, why doesn't somebody get in Tiger's head and tell him that versus him just making his own decisions? Like you would think, as big of a deal as he is, that, that somebody would step up and say well, something. Well, uh, Tiger, Tiger has reinvented his swing. What's three times now? Yeah, at least. And yeah. and and Tom Watson has been playing the same golf swing since 19 what? Probably about 64, 65. Which, which, by the way, he got, he got, he really didn't get the swing from Byron Nelson, but he got the playing tips from Byron Nelson. Byron, Byron Nelson taught Tom Watson how to win, which he did a lot of. <laughs> okay, so follow-up question to that, um, Jason. You're done for the day, so you can go ahead and go. If you want to leave. Um, who's the next Tiger, if that's the case? When Tiger's done in five, seven, ten, twelve years? Well, you know, I was I was really cheering for for Jordan Spieth, but I'm not sure if that's going to happen or not. He's, I mean, he's, he's not fun to watch at all. Like I try to, li I like him because he's a nice kid. Like, I mean, he's a nice kid and he's a good player, but like he's not exciting. It's like, oh, good but, pot. All right, next. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and to to agree with you on on, a, on to some that. aspects. Okay. Let's, let's make sure uh, we get on record. Tiger is probably one of the more exciting players I've seen in my lifetime. Okay. To actually watch him play, he's a very he's a, and Phil Phil's exciting. You never know what Phil's gonna do. Yeah, I mean he's given away two U.S. Opens by hitting dumb shots in the fourth round. You know? He's given away a lot. <laughs> but but that was but, make but an you know Phil, joke, Phil, but Phil, Phil is. Phil is, is grip it and rip it, you know, and if it goes in the hole, he smiles, and if it doesn't go in the hole, he's still smiling. you, you got to love it, you know. Yeah. I right. think Jordan will be comfortable and a lot more fun to watch after he's won a couple of tournaments and is comfortable winning. Yeah, yeah. I'd agree with that. I he's would agree with that. He's got one win. Wow. He'll get out there and win some tournaments. But, but he doesn't have the mental toughness that Tiger Woods has. He yeah. is and, not and, and, Tiger's age. He's young. He's yeah, I know, young. But, but did you remember Tiger Woods when he was that age? Fire in the... I was still in diapers. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> the, there was a fire <laughs> in the <laughs> Tiger, man. He wanted to win, and he wanted to win bad, and he did, you know? And that's part of what makes Tiger so fun and why I follow him and why I don't there, watch if he's and, not playing. In in the seventies, in the seventies, there were five or six tigers floating around that were just as exciting as Tiger was. I mean, Gary Player was exciting. Jack Nicklaus was a little boring, but he was exciting when he played. Uh, 
Tom, of course, Tom Watson. Uh, there was just a – Lee Trevino was fun to watch. I mean, Lee, Lee Trevino was a kick in the pants, but he could play golf now. <laughs> he's, oh, he's fun to watch now. Yeah, but I really, I really think that Jason has hit the nail on the head. When, when Jordan Spieth gets just a little bit more – experience under his belt, I think he's going to become willing to show that killer instinct that's the, the feature that makes Tiger so exciting. Well, that's that's that's, that's the problem with Rory McIlroy, okay? Rory's got the game to be a Tiger Woods because Rory can play. Oh, yeah. He's good, yeah. but he's not, he's not got – anyway. He's, got, he's got the game. He's got the game. He just doesn't have the mental makeup that Tiger Woods has. Like, he gives up too easy. He broke up with his girlfriend. He might have the game now. <laughs> the well, I mean, he breaks up and he wins. Did, did you see the 78 he shot at Memorial last week? Yeah. After he shot a 63. 63. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's stop talking about how great Tiger is. Jason, let's kick it back to you for one final question for our guest of honor. Man, I'm, you know, I've done enough damage right now. No, I'm, I'm excited Ask for one. the back nine though because I know Les really well, so I'm curious to see how he answers some of your back nine questions. But uh, I got them new this week. I threw in a couple of new ones this week. <laughs> That's because I I know all the questions. And, yeah, well, and... you're gonna know some of them. <laughs> Elizabeth, let's get one more question from you related to the blog because I feel like we talk more about Tiger than we did about pro golf now, and the reason why we featured Les. <laughs> where do you see the blog? Where do you see pro golf now going in the next five years? Ooh, good question. Ooh, good question. Well, I, I, I Jinx, one, two, three, you owe me a Coke, Jason. I was expecting that one from uh, from Ricky. Uh, I don't know. I, I think Pro Golf now needs a new co-editor, a young co-editor yeah. that's got a little bit more uh, fire in the in the belly than I do. Hey, I'm 67 years old, and I some days I get up, I just don't feel like writing. <laughs> you know, well, and to be you drink better you, beer. If you're drinking better beer, you'd feel if, more optimistic. If, if, if Elizabeth and the rest don't write enough blogs, then I have to write. I have to start cranking out blogs because there has to be a minimum. You know. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever written a blog post that you were unhappy with that was published? Something that's oh, gotten yeah. published. Okay. Absolutely. I, I've uh, I go back and look at the stuff that I wrote. Two years ago, when I first started, mm -hmm. and I laugh at it. It's like, wow, <laughs> what a dummy! <laughs> now, do you keep your content because you're writing for about 25 different blogs? Do you have like one place that you collect them all, or are they just just all online? Nah, no, nah, they just all online. That could be like a book I, eventually, like the music. When I when, Bailey. after I got laid off from my from my from my day job, I. I bought the complete idiot's guide on how to write. You know, there's a book called The Idiot's Guide on, on How to Write Short Stories. Mm -hmm. And they wanted you in there to keep a uh, a personal diary, you know, which I did for a while. I got tired of doing that. Yeah. But but that was the motivation to learn how to write, you know, to come up with content every day to put in that personal I used, I I've kept a lot of that. Okay. One more question because I'm just curious. Do you write in Microsoft Word and copy over? Or do you actually write within WordPress? Uh, I just write within WordPress. Okay. One more That's, question. Uh, Gosh, I guess keep going. Have you ever lost a post through WordPress where you've written it and gone to publish it and have lost it? Uh, we went through some network problems at Fansided. Uh, Elizabeth will remember where we were. The site was banging up and down. Uh, yeah, I've lost. In fact, during that period of time, I was writing stuff on, on Word and copying it over. Cause, yeah. <laughs> you know, you'd know, yeah. you be writing along, and all of a sudden, the, the site would go down, and you'd lose everything you had, you know. And, yeah. yeah. And, okay. and, and, you know, the first, time, you know, the first time you write a story, it's magical. You yeah. try to recreate that same no. magic with the Forget same that. story. No way. It's like, okay, just we'll pick up a new subject, you know. Yeah. Like Tiger. <laughs> Anytime you want to write about Tiger, I'll uh, <laughs> Elizabeth, any more questions from you before we get to the best part of the Friday foursome? No, I want to see what you do to him now. <laughs> you roast me. It's not as bad as you think because of how much I treated you last week and how negative I was towards your your ripe young age of yeah. old man. I didn't want to be too mean to you this week. So you you know the back nine. Here we go. 
Favorite PGA Tour major? Masters. What's your handicap? I don't have one. Coke or Pepsi, and who brings it to you when you order it? <laughs> Pepsi. Pepsi. The wife, she brought me coffee just a minute ago. <laughs> That's awesome. Favorite LPGA Tour player? She doesn't have uh, to be hot. Huh? She doesn't she have, she to, doesn't be have hot. to be hot. Uh, Suzanne Patterson. She's not hot. <laughs> I know. So she brought you coffee. <laughs> Coffee or tea? And I assume coffee is your answer. Coffee. Yeah. Favorite NASCAR driver? Hashtag go fast, turn left. Jeff Gordon. Now why uh, Jeff Gordon? That's not that's like a follow up to that question. Why Jeff Gordon? Yeah, why Jeff Gordon? Well, when I started liking Jeff, I used to be an Ernie Irvin fan, and he retired, and I kind of banged around looking for somebody to to be a fan of, <laughs> and I eventually wound up with Jeff Gordon because at the time nobody liked him. I said, well, I'll, I'll be the one guy that likes him, you know. <laughs> All right. Are you ever going to shave? I do I shave trim. every day. You, you trim. I shave. Uh, I shortened it up for the summer because it was getting hot. <laughs> <laughs> two weeks ago, there was a foot of snow on the ground. Now it's all of a sudden it's hot. No, that was uh, you know, two weeks ago. It was fifty something. It was cold. <laughs> what is your favorite blog to read that you don't write for? Um. That's a good question. I, my favorite blog writers are on Yahoo. Okay. I like Yahoo. Who do you read on Yahoo? Uh, I'm not going to say. Why? Say. <laughs> I think I know who you're going to say, but if you read them, you might as well promote them. I, I, mean, I, like, the NAS you, but... I like the NASCAR blogs on, on, on Yahoo. I, I do read some golf over there, but I don't... Uh, I mostly read NASCAR. Okay. Well, you should read more of the golf because he's in the Google Plus golf community. He's a good buddy of mine, and we play golf together. So, Who, Who's that? Shane Bacon. Devil Ball? Yeah. I, yeah. De Devil Ball Golf is, is one I read over there. Yeah, good. He's uh, he's awesome. He's a really good player, too. And his buddy. Uh, what's his buddy's name that writes most of the NASCAR stuff? Oh, I don't know. Like, like I'm <laughs> reading NASCAR blog. <laughs> <laughs> He's the other half of Devil Ball Golf. Oh, I only I don't I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, and the final question: What's next for Les Bailey? Uh, well, I'm 67 years old. I'll, I'll let you figure out what's next for me. You act like that's old. <laughs> well, uh, I don't have any. I'm not aspiring. The most thing I I love bluegrass music, so I I'm. Pursuing banjo and, and guitar and, and are you gonna play the banjo? You gotta no. play it. No, come on, it's gotta be sitting there. Grab in it. In fact, and play. I in fact I just bought myself a new Martin guitar. Play, play us play us a riff on that as we as we close. That'd be more fun <laughs> than me saying make more birdies. Since <laughs> see see my new guitar. Uh, it's right next to that. So what's that on the wall? Old cowboy banner. Yeah. <laughs> That's my That's cowboy banner. <laughs> So what do you want to hear? In this episode of the Friday Foursome, not with quotes that Jesus Martinez steals from hit movies, but with a guitar solo from the one and only legendary Les Bailey. Jason, is he playing a song or is he warming up? I don't know. It's a good thing he's retired and not making a living at this. Oh, I know that song. There we go. There we go. Ricky, you should use this for your. I love it. Jason, you thank should you. Use this for your clothes. You I should know. always. I love it. Jason, thanks. Tell the kids to uh, have a good day. Thanks for joining us. Unless. Good work. And don't quit your day job.